Hey guys, I had a little bit of extra time and I wasn't sure if I was gonna film this video, but I feel like I'm going to film this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and do it. I don't think it's gonna be too long, but it's something that I just kinda wanted to share with you guys because I feel like a lot of you guys might be in a similar situation to me and um, I have gotten questions regarding this specific topic moving forward and um, where we're at and where our family's at. So I thought it'd be a good idea to sit down and just kind of share with you guys what's going on. Welcome back, John's got the kids. He is driving around and I'm doing some filming this morning and I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys a little bit about future babies and plans um, looking forward for John and I and for our family and kind of what we've been um, kind of the journey that we're on right now I guess <laughs> look at all those swatches are those gonna drive you nuts you guys those would drive me nuts if somebody had those let me wipe them off real quick all right that's a little bit better um, but right now um, I have three little ones if you guys are new to my channel I have a daughter who is four I have a son who is um, three his name's Ezra Fiona's four Ezra is three and Jude is a year and a half and all my kids are 15 and 18 months apart so they're very close together in age I mentioned in a last video that I'll link up here for you guys kind of what our plans were moving forward with babies and I basically said in a nutshell that um, we're not trying to have or we were not trying to have kids at that point and that we were kind of just enjoying the season of life that we were in and you know if God gave us another baby that he would give us another baby and that we weren't gonna be like planning or trying though. I am not on like a traditional birth control pill or anything like that, but we do do natural family planning and are doing what we can do to prevent a pregnancy. Um, it is now January of 2017. It's been a few months since I've done that video and it's been interesting because with my other three kids, I could tell you the exact time I got pregnant with them. Like I was that fertile where I could think about getting pregnant and I would be pregnant, you know? And I don't think I really like, not that I didn't appreciate it, but I think I kind of took it for granted because I didn't ever really have to try to get pregnant. Moving forward now, looking at my life right now with John, um, we had not been trying to have a baby. Um, we had been doing natural family planning and avoiding certain times of the month, that kind of stuff to avoid having a baby. Um, over the last couple months though, we had not really been avoiding and we'd not really been being intentional. And so when I say that like we, we haven't been like charting my fertility and um, taking my temperature every morning or doing anything like that for people that are really wanting to have babies, things that are really helpful and proactive with getting pregnant. We weren't doing that. However, we haven't been avoiding certain times of the month either. So it's kind of just been, you know, what will be will be. If we get pregnant, we get pregnant. Um, we'd like to have another baby. So now is as good as any time, you know? And so that's kind of been our mindset over the last few months. And that being said, I have not gotten pregnant. Um, I've not gotten pregnant and my cycles have been kind of crazy. I don't really know what's been going on with my body or my fertility. I still am nursing Jude um, usually really only at nighttime and maybe once during the day but I was nursing Ezra and Fiona when I got pregnant with those other pregnancies. So my body's always kind of been used to getting pregnant while nursing. It's never been something I've had to think about. But over the last couple months, I've realized that my cycles have been kind of crazy and kind of all over the place. Times when I really thought I was pregnant or I thought I could definitely get pregnant, I haven't gotten pregnant. And so it's just been kind of something that has been eye-opening to me, I guess. Something that I didn't know that I would have to think about or plan with and I know there are people that it takes months to get pregnant like for sure I'm not saying I'm infertile I'm not saying like anything like that I guess I'm just saying that this is uncharted territory for me like I've not had to to deal with this by the grace of God praise the Lord that I've not had to but right now it's just something that it's something that we're walking through right now and it's interesting because um, there's been two sides of the spectrum not getting pregnant on times when I thought I definitely could or was pregnant 
has been on one end disappointing I've experienced the feeling of being disappointed that I wasn't pregnant and then I was surprised that I was disappointed because I didn't think I wanted to have a baby and so that was a little bit eye-opening and then there have been months where I've been happy like I've been glad that I'm not pregnant because maybe I've had a really rough month with the kids that I've got right now or maybe I've been struggling emotionally or you know just life happens right and so it's been interesting to just kind of see that and I've really found that when people say there's no perfect time to have a kid there's no perfect time to have a kid I've definitely seen that in my life recently so I'm kind of at a point now where I'm just trusting in God and I am enjoying my kids. I'm enjoying Jude being little. I'm enjoying having a little bit of um, a breather. You know, like I can leave and John can put all the kids to bed and that's huge for me. I don't have this weight of feeling like I gotta be home by eight o'clock so I can nurse him and he can go to sleep, you know? So we're in more of like a relaxed phase and I'm enjoying this phase. I really, really am. And on the other end, I have a desire to have another baby though too. So that's kind of where we're at right now and I guess just kind of going through this last few months has brought some clarity and some peace of mind and maybe opened up my eyes a little bit to what I'm really desiring in my family, what I'm wanting moving forward, and where ultimately my trust lies in the growth of our family and in our plans. So I hope that this was an interesting video for you guys. I hope that it shed some light on kind of where the journey we're walking through right now and where our family is at. Feel free to comment down below and just share with me your thoughts or if you've been in a similar situation or if you are, I'd love to get to know you and chat with you in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you'd like to see more videos from me and I'll see you guys later. Bye.